hello and welcome to the chaos uh this is going to be a little bit of a bonus video because uh it is time for inventory again i think it's been at least seven or eight months it may have been longer than that since the last time i did a full on full inventory of everything and i brought y'all along for that um so we're gonna go through it again because fall markets are coming up and um, i need to know what i got and i haven't updated my you know checklists on my computer. I think I've been keeping up with it pretty well in my Square app, but I don't know for 100% certain, and I've been making a lot of stuff lately, so I'm just going to go through it all. I just want to see what I have, and like, if there's anything that like is a deep dark hole that needs to be filled, um, we're about to be interrupted. Hold on. Okay, so I'm back. So, <coughs> sorry. The kids were like hungry, you know, like they needed some lunch or something, so I had to go take care of that. <laughs> anyway, uh, inventory. So what we're doing, I have bags. Everything has been in these big pink bags for a while now. I think I've shown you guys these before. Sorry if the sound quality is a little off, by the way. I'm not using the microphone this time around because I don't know how long this video is gonna take to record and I don't know how long the battery will last. So rather than drive myself crazy checking it every five minutes to see if it's still going, I'm just gonna do this one a little bit more raw because it is a bonus video and I'll save the microphone for when I do the more planned out ones, I guess. So anyway, so everything's in these bags. I have six of them full of stuff. And then some other stuff that's not in the bags right now. <clears throat> so I think I need to order some more bags. Because my inventory has grown a little bit. Uh, but these bags also have little pockets. Let me see if I can show you. Oh, kind of heavy. Little pockets on the sides where you can stick an index card. It's just like a little clear plastic pocket so you can label your bag. So I have some index cards and what I want to do is not just inventory everything and know what I have, but also to organize them all into these bags by kind of category. Because I've been doing, I mentioned this on my Instagram, I don't know if I've really talked about it much in a video, but I've been doing the local county farmers market um <clears throat> i have a permanent booth up there now so i want to have the bag separated into like themes or categories so i can take one bag at a time and just swap my inventory out every week or so um and keep it fresh and new without like having to have everything out all the time because the space is kind of small and my whole inventory doesn't fit there very well. There's something weird going on with my curtains. I'm getting distracted. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so yeah, so I want to categorize and I also just, you know, need an inventory. So I have my notebook, my pen, and I have some index cards and a marker so we can start doing that. And in the meantime, y'all get to see what I actually have that I take to markets with me all the time. Some of it you've probably seen before, some of it might be new, but you'll get a chance to take a look at it. All right, first off, I have no idea what's in any of them. I'm basically just gonna empty everything and write it down as I go, and uh, then find ways to categorize it and put it back according to those categories. Okay, so first thing is scrappy bunnies. I know I have a bunch of these, and I was basically trying to use up as much of the Big Twist Posh as I could because I had a whole bunch of it left, but I don't have a way to get more because Joanne's is gone in my area. Um, so I was just using it up and so Scrappy Bunnies is what they became. So I'm going to write that down and they are $45 a piece. Okay, 
Okay, so scrappy bunny. And I'm going to put the price over here on the edge. And that'll leave me room in the middle to kind of put hash marks or whatever I need to for how many I have. So here's one, two so far of those, and they're just all kind of different colors. Okay, so so far that's two scrappy bunnies, and I know there's more. I made a bunch to start with. This is the Mama Made Minis Lovey Pattern Una the Unicorn. I know I only have one of her. I recently dropped my price on these loveys because they just have not been selling. So these are $50 now, these big loveys. Okay, so Una the Unicorn Lovey. Crochet by Jenna's Possum Smuggler. If you saw my possum video, you saw this one. Very cute. Uh, $35, because this is part of this one of the smaller snugglers. So like the big Mama Made Mini Snugglers, I moved to 50, and then the minis, with the blanky body especially, I made 35, and it's just fit into that category time-wise. Um, so that's Roadkill Possum Snuggler. 35 and I know there's only one of those. So possum lovey one 35. Crochet by Jenna's Splooting Unicorn. I made two of these uh, for her pattern test, but one of them I sent away to a giveaway winner on my Instagram and that has a new home now. So this is the one that's left, and she is 65. <clears throat> this must be a, a bag of just like really large things. So we're gonna call it the Spluticorn. One of those, 65. Okay, great big whale. You may have seen this guy. He's been around for a little bit. This is the Alphan Jade pattern from her family whale pack, and I made it sort of cherry themed, so big cherry whale, $80. This is the Possum on a Swing pattern, Nyla's Darling Designs, um, from my Possum video, only made one of this one, 45 I'm gonna call that one Sitting Possum. One of a couple Posey the Fairy Dragons that I have made some modifications and alterations to. This one's some Jumbo Yarn, 85. So Jumbo Posey. Another one with the sunflower modifications. So another hash mark on that one. Uh, oh, and another snuggler. Mama made Minnie's dragon snuggler. I think it's Dusty is the name. That one's fifty. Fall knows. I have two of these. These are leftovers from last year. Fall season. And they're making a return. $25 each on the sitting knows. Okay. My shirt. 
are a couple of these. This is Anchor. Anchor the Hammerhead Shark. This is my pattern that I just released this year. I have two of him and they are 50. Here's some more lovies. So this is the Yves Yeti pattern from Mama Bane Minnie's book. And I just did color changes and added a heart and made it just kind of a little monster. So it's a monster lovey for 50. And then I have the Tessa Toad lovey is a smaller one. So she's 35. So monster lovey 50. And Toad Lovey for 35. Okay. Hanging Possum. I can't remember. I'm, I listed all these in my possum video. I cannot remember now which was which pattern, but 45 on Hanging Possum. Another posy dragon. This is the coquette variation and in blanket yarn instead of jumbo yarn. So this one's 55 because it came up smaller. Um, what did I call the other one? Jumbo posy. So this is just a regular posy, I guess. I don't think I have any more of that size and that was the other one. I have there's two of them in here, but I feel like I've made more of them. They might be in another bag. This is the Poggy's Place little bat. So there's two of them right here, 25 each on these. Buggy's Place, Bat, we have two, 25 each. Okay, and the rest of this is mostly little turtles. I do have a couple extra one-off things. Let me pull those out first. Okay, so this is a mermaid. I just made this one. I haven't priced her yet. Um, which pattern was this? Stitch Sister Co. Stitch Sister Co. pattern, and I used Crazy Yarn for her hair. I'm thinking she'll probably be 35 just because of how long the hair took. Okay. Zero. Leftover from last year. Oh, he's looking a little. He's looking a little wonky from being squashed in the bag. So, zero, the ghost dog. 35. Zero dog. I know there's only one of him. And mini pumpkins. These are all $10 each. I have this one in green. I have a bunch of them in just orange, regular. So let's see. I've got four in the orange, one in the green. Five orange, so six total so far. Okay, so six mini pumpkins at ten dollars each. Okay. And the oh no, my pen is dying. Three, four, five, six, and oh no, don't die! I need you. Another lovey, uh, the pterodactyl lovey. Tag is falling off, but this is the one of the thirty-five dollar ones. Okay, 
for hangers, I have, oh my gosh, they're all tangled up. These are $10 each, the flower ones. One, two, it's stuck. <laughs> Stop wrapping around each other. Three. Okay, so three flower car hangers at ten dollars each. glow-in-the-dark ghost and pumpkin car hangers. These are left over from last year. And I have these for $15 each. They took a little bit more work than the flower ones. So ghost car hangers. One, two, three, and they are 15 each. All right, now I've got Tofu the Turtle in a variety of like colors and whatnot, and they are 25. And then I've also got Tice the Turtle, which is the sea turtle, in a variety of colors, and they are also 25. So I think I'm just gonna lump all of them together. So. We'll just call these the mini turtles. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve so far. And I know there are more in another bag. So mini turtles. So far we have. and they are 25 each. Okay, so that's one bag empty. And I think it'll be easiest to keep up with all of this if I go ahead and pick a category for this bag and start putting the things that match that category into this bag. So since most of what I have up here right now is turtles and sea life, I think we're going to just call this the sea life bag or maybe the aquatic bag. Let's go with aquatic. Aquatic. and aquatic theme. So that will include Test of the Toad and the two shark lovies. And mermaid. There's my other shark. Another shark. The big jumbo whale. Fits that theme. So that will go in there. And then all of these Turtles. We'll go back in there. Okay. Oh my goodness. So many turtles. The turtles went everywhere. Life? I think it might be all the sea life. I think I found them all. Okay. So that's one category started. Next bag. Okay. I'm gonna make some room on my bed. So I can start piling. 
pulling more plushies up here. Oh, okay. Ooh, this bag is full. What do we have in here? This one looks like I had trouble zipping it. Okay. Jumbo pumpkin. For 25. I know there's only one of those. It's another leftover from last year. Jumbo pumpkin. 25. Large axolotl. This one's been hanging out with me for a while. It's, I think it's the color. I don't think green is a super popular color, but that's $36. That was Rhonda Butler's video tutorial. Was that one? So large, Axo, one. What did I say it was? 26, 36? I lost, I forgot myself now, 36. And that one might wind up going into a clearance bin. That's the other thing. I think um, I'm going to wind up putting together a clearance bin. And a lot of the things that have been hanging out with me for a very long time and actually like going to shows all that time. Not like the holiday stuff that's been in a bin since last holiday. But the plushies that have just like carried with me show to show to show. I think you're gonna wind up being clearanced so that I can try to move some of them out. Okay, Toby. There's three, I know three Tobys, because that's this is my pattern. And he is 35. So there's one Toby. I don't know where the other ones are, but I know they're in there. So Toby Cow. I keep trying to give a W three little bumps instead of two. Because my brain is shot. So 35 for Toby. That is what I said, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, uh, My Melody. Hello Kitty sold, Cinema Roll sold. Hello, my Melody's been riding with me for a while. Um, this is from the Wonder Crochet pattern. So she might also be one that goes in a clearance bin. She's 85 right now, but she might wind up in a clearance bin. Okay, so that's my Melody. There's one of her. 85. Um, gummy Bear. Doesn't even have a tag on it. This one's going to wind up in a clearance bin, I think. For like probably for like five dollars because this is one of the ones like I said that has just been since last spring so like a year and a half show after show after show and not going anywhere so I haven't even made any more of those I think I may have two of them still hanging around gummy bear one so far I'm gonna say five and mark it with an asterisk for clearance so that one is for sure going on clearance Love bugs. I made two of these around Easter time and neither one of them is sold, but I'll hold on to them for a little bit longer because they're only priced at 15. So somebody may want one eventually. Again, I know there's another one in here somewhere, but it is hiding. So it's gonna go over there. Until I find the other one. Love bug fifteen. Um Space Invaders. This is a free pattern on Instagram. I made them in jumbo yarn, so they got really big and they're fun. 25. Five. Mama and baby possum. This one I know is Crojo Mojo. This one gets a lot of attention, but hasn't moved yet. But it's early days. We haven't had her out in the booth for very long yet. She's 50 because she's technically two dollars in one and she took some time and some sewing. So mom and baby possum and 50. Bees. Bees are 15. These bees anyway like the big chunky bees and I have them in autumn colors and regular colors and Christmas colors. This is the bobble bee from 
we've had it on Instagram. Not sure exactly how many I have of those, but I've got a few. So that's 15 on the beads. Okay, hot air balloons, little backpack buddies. These are $16 each. So that's two so far of them. I'm not even sure what category those are gonna fit into. Figure that out. Okay, so two so far of them. What is this? Big dragon, sitting dragon. I have two different sitting dragons. He's lost his price tag, but I think he was 85. Because he's a pretty big, big chunky boy. Um, this is a free pattern on mine. Not my favorite. Won't make again, but he's still going to try to sell. So, Sitting Dragon. Okay, let's see, 85. I'm pretty sure that's what they both were priced at. I'm running out of room in my notebook. Oh, we need another hot air balloon. Hot air balloon. So, that's two more. Three more. I have a lot of these. Four more. I made a bunch of them for the Hot Air Balloon Festival that I went to last year and only sold a couple. Okay, so that's four, six more to add to the hashtag. Let me go ahead and do that before I forget. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, headphones. I think I'm probably just going to give these to one of my kids. These are not moving. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna inventory these. I follow the YouTube tutorial for them because I thought they'd be fun and um, I, I'm not, I don't like them. <laughs> I don't even want to put them in my booth. Macaroon cookie in two different colors. Don't know why I did that, but I did. $10 on the macaroon cookie. I need to turn the page. Page doesn't want to turn. All right, so cookie one for ten dollars. What else we got in here? Here's another bee, another fifteen dollar bee. This one's candy corn, but I think I did the colors backwards. Like the face should have been over here. I don't know. That that just goes in the bee category. Uh, popping jellies by Cable and Canvas. Yep, 15 for the popping jellies. Popping jelly, one for 15. Frogs, I think I priced all the frogs pretty much the same. I did a bunch of different little frog patterns for my spring video. This one's really cute. This is a free Instagram pattern. And then this one's 12. Small frogs. I think I've got some other ones that are priced the same. So I'm just going to call those small frogs. Small frogs for 12. Um, starfish. I have a whole bunch of these. I made them as um, <coughs> reusable water balloons last summer and they really haven't sold at all um so they they're only five dollars but i may clearance them out and just ask for like a dollar a piece or something just to clear them out of my inventory because i have a whole basket full so one two three i mean that's three that i just now found there's more in here i know Small stars. One, two, three. 
and they are five each. Maybe I'll leave them at five. And I'll just I'll have a five dollar bin. I'll just throw a bunch of stuff in there. Oh, here's some more hot air balloons. There's at least one more hot air balloon. So there's another hot air balloon, another alien. Invader, little chicky. This is another one of those free Instagram patterns. He is 12. I might wind up having like a $5 bin and a $12 bin. So I don't have to have all of these things separate in my square. Oh my god. Pin keeps dying. This is driving me insane. Small chick. Twelve. I moved to using my marker. Oh, I should have put the jellyfish into the aquatic and the axolotl. Okay, hold on. So axolotl going to aquatic animals bag. I forgot if I was doing that. How'd y'all let me forget I'm categorizing? Where did the jellyfish go? I was just like throwing things. Okay, jellyfish. Frog. Actually, should I leave the frog out since it's a twelve dollar item? Yes. Anything five and twelve dollars is gonna stay out somewhere else. Oh, I really need more places to put things. Ugh. Where am I gonna put them? I don't know. I don't know. I need baskets or something. Hold on. Do you have like a work in progress bag I can dump stuff in? Oh, I got baskets. my cable and one of them randomly so what is that fluff 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 okay so two bins we'll do five dollar bin twelve dollar bin and that's where I can start tossing some of these little things five dollar twelve dollar okay so these twelve five Another starfish way over here. This is what happens when you just throw things without any regard for your future self. You have a mess to clean up. I think that might be all I'll toss, but I'll find it as I clean up later. Okay. Were there any other aquatic animals I needed to grab? I don't think so. I don't think so. No. Okay, so here, but here's another one, jelly. So into the aquatic bag this time. And we'll add a mark for a popping jelly. Oh, here's another ghosty. I actually have all my ghosties set aside over here. These are all 15. I've got a bucket of ghosties over here. I'll deal with them later. Oh, here we go, another popper jelly. So that's three of those. I think it might be all. I just was finishing off that one skein of yarn. Little whale friend. He's 12. Yeah, $12 bin. Small. He shouldn't be 12 though. He should be 15 because he's bigger than those guys. Shouldn't he? This is a $15 toy, isn't it? I think so. I'm going to change that. I need a better mark for that. Okay, so 
just to make things more equal to us across the board. So small wheel, 15. Okay. Oh, another ghosty. I'll count up all the ghosties later. Dumbo Octo. Sort of looks like a cat. Octo, cat, 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 octopus. I just kind of freehanded this one day for fun. I got 20 on that one. We're going to call it the cat octo. Cat octo. 20. Okay, I got to pause you guys because I got to go find another pen. This one's dying. Okay, I'm back with a new pen. And I'm sorry if you heard my dog barking for some of that. I didn't realize until I went out to find a pen that the kids had locked him outside and he was unhappy about it. And he was barking at the door to come back in the house and they were not obliging him. Okay, two more stars. So that brings us up to five on the small stars. Okay. Uh, what else we got here? This little guy. He's a $10 guy. I'm just going to toss him in the $12 bin, just so that it all fits. Okay, so I'm going to change that on his tag. I just don't want like a hundred different price points for things, you know? It bothers me. Okay, so Garden Sprite, I can't remember what that was actually called, but it was a free Instagram pattern. I want to call it the Garden Sprite. He's going to go in the $12 bin. What else we got? Oh, B. So there's another B for 15. Opt another little Octo for 15. I think this is all from Jade's pattern, but I do the tentacles out with curlies instead of the bobbles. But other than that, it's her free pattern. Okay, so that was B. Add one to that list. Small Octo for 15. Um, okay, this is another big one. She's been with me for year and a half, close to two years now. I don't know if she's ever going to go anywhere. I may wind up gifting her to somebody because I don't think she's going anywhere. I've got 150 on her and she's worth it because she took me like six to eight hours. Look at all these baubles. And crocheted my little fingers to the bone making her. Um, and this is in Sweet Snuggles light, so just like if it had been in Bernat, just think how big she would be. So, yeah, she's she's going in the aquatic pen. Okay, so I'm just gonna call her Jumbo Octo. And I will know what that is because there is only one, and there will only ever be one. I made her long before that Anchor the Octopus pattern made its debut on Instagram and everybody wanted to make it. And by the time that one came around, I was like, uh-uh, I've already done that once. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> Mabel the Chicken, Oak and Marlowe. I made a ton of these last year and a bunch of them sold really, really well. And then they kind of slowed down and stopped selling. I still have a few of them left um, and I'll keep bringing them. But I've been focusing more on my own chicken pattern lately, so I probably won't be making any more of these. Although they are really cute, and I do make a smaller version of this for keychains and for my um, claw machine. <laughs> so, Mabel Chicken 15. Pickle. I knew I had two pickles. I need these sold really well for me last year and haven't sold since. 
maybe they'll pick up closer to Christmas time with the whole Christmas pickle tradition. I don't really know. I have them priced at 15, but I think I might bump them down to my $12 bin. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Let me go ahead and mark their tags so I don't forget. Because I'm going to have to go through and change prices on all these things anyway. I'm going to have to re-tag a bunch of stuff, I think. But I'll do that as I'm setting it up. Gives me something to do while I'm sitting in the market. Mm. Alright, so pickle times two for twelve. Uh, little ducky. This is one of those free Instagram patterns. Fifteen on little ducky. It's not an aquatic animal. Let's we'll stick that over there. Baby Green Boy Little Alien. I have several of these that I made on May the 4th. And I have them marked at 12, but they seem more like $15 items to me, so yeah, they definitely don't fit in that $12 bin. I went through, I, I normally am very conscientious about how I price things and I weigh things out and time myself and everything. But I went through a time period where I was like just prepping a whole bunch of stuff all at once and not wanting to take the time to do that. So then I was just like throwing numbers on things and they're not correct. <laughs> I am not good at estimating prices. This is why I have to do my weights and times and all this kind of stuff because otherwise I just do it all wrong. Just all wrong. more of him in here. We'll find him at some point. Pokeballs. Pokeballs are going in the $12 bin because that just fits. And I know I have more than one of those. I'm thinking with this whole category situation that these smaller things like the $5 bin, $12 bin situation will be in its own bag to just always go. So I'll like I'll have my category and then I'll have my bins of lesser stuff. That's kind of where my brain is right now. There's another B and another baby Yoda. So add one more of those to my tally. Baby Yoda. B you can see how badly I needed to do this by the fact that everything is so just everywhere. Okay, giant bunny. This one's 195. Y'all have probably seen this guy before. I don't expect him to go anytime soon. He's just kind of hanging out. He may wind up just being my farmer's market mascot and then I'll just drag him with me to the bigger shows when like he'll just live at the farmer's market until it's time for a bigger show and then I'll bring him home so that he can go to the big show with me because I don't yeah I just don't see him selling anytime soon put his carrot back in his pocket it's trying to squirm away okay so farmer bunny garden bunny whatever he wants to be called he's gonna live with me for a while throw him over there and he is 195. Oops, I pulled my page out. That's okay. I'll just make it easier to write on. Jumbo. Garden. Bunny. The one and only. 195. Um, ice cream. $15 with mint ice cream with chalky sauce. Very yummy. Cream. One, two, three. Oh, here's another. Two more stars. There's going to be a ton of those. Small stars. Doo -doo. Baby Ditto. Baby Ditto. He's a 15. Another one of him. 
I need to make another one in a more traditional yarn, I think. Because I had one that was the traditional like pink color, and that one's old. Oh, here's another ghosty. Do -do. Go to the ghosty pile. Another star, another star. Some stars to grab onto. Okay, not in this bag, so it's two more stars for Tally. Virtual hamster pet is the pattern I tested for um, Foxy Hook create Creations. So this is the Tamagotchi Buddy. Do you have a tag? A ghost one. That's not his tag. It's probably torn up down here in the bottom somewhere. But I don't know where. It wasn't this one, was it? No, surely not. I'm going to have to look at my square reader what I wound up pricing him. Because I think I did do the whole wait and time and everything on this guy. So I'll have to figure that out. So Tamagotchi... One, and I don't know what his price is right now. I'll have to look it up. Okay. Getting down to the bottom of this bag. Okay, so we got a fish. So this will go in the aquatic animals. This is for 15. Fish for 15. And then this is baby shark. Do, 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 baby shark, do, do. Um, this will go in the $12 bin. Well, or go to the third bin. This one is marked at $8. I don't really have anything else that goes for $8, though. That doesn't make any sense. So we'll do that. Baby shark, $12 bin. Baby shark. That's an all from Jade free pattern. Okay, a uh, little sitting bee. I have several of these. These are twelve dollars. So that'll go on the twelve dollar bin. Do I have any others that I can go ahead and grab real quick from this bag? No. I only have the one. Really? Oh, here's one. Okay, so that's two sitting bees for $12, and then I have a tiny octo for $12. Okay, so sitting bee. Okay, for 12 and I know I have a lot more of those. Tiny octo. I think I only have one of those. I was just like using up some scrap yarn. Um, key I got a bunch of keychains in here. Gracious. Alright, here's some other higher balloon. I can add that to the tally. And another B I can add to that tally. So, hot air balloon, we're up to 10, and then the regular bees, where's the bee, there it is, up to 5 on those. Um, baby Oddish, this is my pattern, these will go in the $12 bin. This one's going to wind up going in a clearance bin, I think. I just was not pleased with how this yarn acted. So, yeah. So, baby Vaporeon. 
Um, I have it marked as 40. I'm going to write that down, but I'm going to put an asterisk next to it because it's going to wind up being clearance to probably 30% off or something like that. And I'll figure that out later. So baby Vaporeon 40 with an asterisk. Okay, then most of the rest of this is keychains, and then I have all these roses. I made so many of these for Mother's Day, and they were nice like when I made them, but they just don't hold up to being in the bags, and like the floral wire is sticking out of all of them, so... Yeah, I think I'm just gonna call these a loss. I was just trying to use up this leftover, I think it's like Parfait Chunky, some of it, and some of it's like the Hobby Honey Bunny yarn that I don't particularly enjoy making plushies out of because it's smaller. And I was just trying to de-stash it and I turned it into these roses and I don't like them. I don't like them, so I think I'm just gonna, these are gonna go. Um, I hear kids crying. I'm gonna put you on pause a minute. Never a quiet moment in the cheerful chaos household. Mm -hmm. Alright, so the rest of what's in this bag currently is keychains. Um, I have several of these little Pokeball keychains that I made that are representative of the different Pokemon. So there's a Charmander one and a Squirtle one and a little Eevee one. I think that might be all. I think I sold a couple of them. And then I've got a little uh, candy corn keychain. And these are kind of varying prize prices. I've got the little popping jelly keychain with posh yarn, so it came out smaller. I've got a couple of these. These are 12, I think. So I've got like $12 ones and $10 ones and then like $16 ones. I don't know why I have all these price points. I don't like having all these different price points, but I don't feel like figuring out the keychains right this minute. Some of them I may de-keychain and actually just put them into mystery ba bags or leave the keychains on and put them into mystery bags with other things. And just take all the price tags off. So let me find another basket to toss all the keychains in for now because keychains don't do so great for me. I've never really done well with keychains. Um, so I think I'm just going to clear them out and just have like one less thing to worry about. No small basket keychains. So I'm not going to inventory them right now because they're going to wind up, I think, just getting tossed into mystery bags. So they'll just be fun little bonuses in mystery bags. That's what we're going to do with those. Yeah, so I've got like. Now, this is a little bit different. This is more like a backpack buddy. But again, I may just de keychain it and just sell it as it is. This is my little scrump mini doll. Um, and she's 15. And she's going to stay 15. Because she's worth that. So, mini scrump. 15. I, may, I need to make another big scrump. That one sold like the first market that I went to. All right. Extra tags and things just littering the bottom of the bag. So we'll just set those aside. All right, where's my little window for my card? So we did a palette themed first. I think the next biggest like category of things I've seen so far has been. hard to say. Maybe I would say if I did fantasy I could put away the dragons but there's not really that many of them in this pile. 
but I guess I could include Pokemon and Star Wars characters with that. Maybe that's what we'll do. This one will be fantasy. Fantasy slash nerd. This will be the nerd. That's what I'm going to call it. This is the nerd bag. <laughs> nerd core. This will probably be backwards to you because of how I have my phone. But there you go. Nerd core. Okay, well that's two bags down so far. Okay, so Ducky is going to go on the nerd core. I'm going to tuck the car hangers out of the way because they're, I don't know what category bag they're going to go into for right now, and I'm just going to move them out of the way. Okay, so Dusty is Nerdcore, this is Nerdcore, another little dragon, oh, Splooting Uni, the Splutacorn. Dragon. That's Nerdcore. What else would count as Nerdcore that I've been throwing over here? Mini Scrump. That's Nerdcore. Um, oh, My Melody. That'll be Nerdcore. It's just, you know, it's a character. A character plush. Um, uh, clearance item. For now, got this big old bag. Oh, hold on, no, it's okay. All right, so clearance item set aside for now. What else do I have? Nerdcore, unicorn, lovey, can go into nerdcore. Um, Tomodachi. Oh, good. This is clearing up a good chunk of this bed, actually. Nerdcore. Monster, Bobby. Nerdcore. Okay, okay. Ditto. Ditto is Nerdcore. I think that about covers it. But I mean, if I find more things later, I can always toss them into the bed. Okay, so that's. Two categories set up, and let's do a quick little dig through of the pile here. Oh, there's more space under here. The nerd core bag. Just make sure I haven't tossed anything too far to the back to find. Okay. Ooh, that pile got a lot smaller. I appreciate that. Okay, so another bag. I need to pull from underneath my little boxes and bins over here. Oh no, oh no. The keychains are running away. They're in too small of a basket. Okay. Okay. Another big bag. Oh. do differently with the keychains. This is becoming problematic, guys. Well, I 
I said maybe just have to pile up on the floor over there. Okay, here's one of my chickens. This is what I've been making instead of the Mabel chickens. Same price, 15. But this is my pattern. The sitting pretty chicken. She can sit up on the shelf and let her legs dangle. <laughs> All right. I've got a couple of them. Sitting pretty. So probably the next theme is going to be farm themed. Because I'm starting to build up more of the cows and rabbits and things like that. Here's another farm themed little bunny. 15. I think that one was the bunny loaf free pattern on Instagram. Another one of the ones that I tested out for a spring video. Here's another one of the scrappy bunnies. And another one. So it's one, two, three, four. more scrappy bunnies. Told you guys I made a bunch of those. Okay, so that brings us up to seven on the scrappy bunnies. Ah, little bats. This is one of the Poggy's Place patterns that I've reviewed recently. Super cute. So little bat, 15. call the other bat. I don't want to mix them up. <laughs> um, I just called it the Poggy's Place bat. Okay. Yeah, because they're a little bit bigger. This is the little critters better. Oh, another space invader. I think that might be all the space invaders. that tally there it is so that's three total space invaders um little duck with a sprout on its head it's 20 very cute i like that one that was one of the spring patterns that i reviewed the free instagram patterns super cute we'll definitely be making that one again okay is it a duck or a chick chick because it's yellow. Sprout chick for 20. Stingray. I have a couple of these. They've been hanging out for a while. They move just slowly. They're 15. I think that's a fair price for them, so I'm not going to um, price them down. Stingray. This one was the Cozy Bunny pattern that I reviewed in the spring. 35. Okay. Oh, this is the infamous chicken in a hat. Or ducky in a hat? Duckling, ducky in a hat? Chicken in a hat? pattern um, that blew up on YouTube not too long ago. Um, I'm not going to go into detail on it, but there's there's tea being spilled or has been spilled and videos have been made. Um, but this, I made her when I made my spring review. She's 20 as well as the Sprout Chicken. So, Chick in Hat. Also very cute, very fun pattern. I probably will make that one again if that one sells. Guinea pigs. I have a bunch of these, actually. Guinea pigs all over the place. And then I put on the guinea pigs. 15. So here's two guinea pigs. And they are 15. Um, jelly bean bunnies. A lot of people did these Easter time. They were very popular. 
These are $12, so these are just going in my $12 bin. And I have a couple of them, I think. Um, I don't need another page. All right. It's getting really old. I'm on my third page. <laughs> Jelly Bean Bunny, and I know I have more than one of those. Okay. Marshmallow Peep. Had this one since last Easter, so this is going on two years. Um, this one's going in the $5 bin. So many. All from Jade's Stella the Squid. Made this one last summer on vacation. I have her priced at 25. I think that's a fair price. I'm gonna keep that price. She's gonna go in the aquatic animals bag. So Stella Squid I have one for 25. Another stingray. Oh, did I not? I didn't put the other stingray in the aquatic bin. Stingrays, aquatic bin. I ain't gonna let me forget again. Why aren't you reminding me? Okay, stingray, another one. Doop. Popping flower from my spring review. I have 20 on this one. I think I'm going to take this one down to 15. I think that makes more sense. I don't know why I put 20 to begin with. Maybe it took me extra time with the petals, but I think this is too small to be a $20 item. That just doesn't make sense in my head. So popping flower one for 15. Oh, you know what it is? It's because it's from the, it's a mod for the Mushy Crushy and the Mushy Crushies take me long enough that I charge 20 for them. So I think I just charged the same rather than timing it, but it's um, not as involved as the Mushy Crushy. So I don't think it took, I don't think it actually took me as long as the Mushy Crushy does. There's another Stingray. Stingray, Stingray, where are you on my list? Stella, where are you? On the other side. Seeing stingray. There it is. Good grief. Dinosaur. Like a brontosaurus style sleeping. Not exactly sleeping because his eyes are open, but a laying down dinosaur. I have 40 on this one. Yeah, because it's about the size of my drive-in, so that price. That makes sense. So blue dino. Baby possum. This is crochet by Jenna's pattern. This is going in the twelve dollar bin. Fish for fifteen. Stitch Sister Co. This one doesn't have any eyes or anything, so it's baby safe. Just like a little pillow, a little squishy. Aquatic bag. Do I have a small fish on here already? What was that other fish? Fish, 15, yeah, we'll just say two, two fish, even though they're different kinds of fish. 
it was the same price, so that works. Jelly Bean Bunny. We're going into the $12 bin. I think I saw another one, but I guess I didn't. So $4 bin Jelly Bean Bunny. There's another hash mark on that one. Tarantula. I have a few of these guys. This is the Sploot the Spider pattern, and I did it in Jumbo Yarn. And I think he turned out fantastic. I have $30 on these guys. Not Sploot. Spoo. Spoo the Spider. <laughs> so the Jumbo Spoo Spider is 30 I need to make some more of the little ones of those guys, too. A little jumping spider. This is the Poggy's Place Little Critters Spider. He's so cute. So, little spider. For 15. Oh, another The Child. This little nerdy basket. Three so far of those. Egg bunny. This was just me using up some scrap yarn <laughs> near Easter time this year. I have 15 on that one. That makes sense. Egg bunny. 15. And he may not go until Easter time comes back around again, and I'm okay with it. This is, oh, what is her name? Blythe, Blythe the Unicorn. She was all over Instagram when I like first started really getting into crocheting amigurumi. So she was one of the first big, I say big, you've seen my big stuff now, amigurumi projects that I did. And she's been hanging out with me for a while. She had a friend that went faster, but that's okay. Um, I think she's beautiful and eventually she will find a home. So Blythe for 15 and Shuzo in the nerd bag. Blythe Unicorn 50. Okay. Um chicken coasters that I made just because I could and I had this pretty variegated um, acrylic yarn that I kind of just wanted to use up because I don't really use acrylic yarns that much. So I have a set of six coasters for 15 on those. It's nice too to have some things in there that are not 100% for kids. Parents enjoy that. So I may just throw that kind of thing in there every once in a while. Feel like making something a little different. Watermelon Dino. His price tag fell off, but I think he was 25. This is a free Instagram pattern. Watermelon Dino. 25 question mark. <laughs> Okay, Leggy Froggy, this is going in the $12 bin. And I think I've only got a couple of those left right now. Lucky chains, and I'm not going to do it. Lots of little keychains that I'm just not going to deal with right now. I'm just going in the pile over there. Another broggy. I had marked this one for 15, but it's not going anywhere. This is the strawberry frog free Instagram pattern. Took a little extra time to make because of the lily pad that comes with it. But I think I'm gonna put it in the $12 bin just to move it along.
Straub fraud. Fifteen? No. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve. I'm getting tired, y'all. I may stop after this bag for today. And uh pick up recording another day. We're already at over an hour on this video, so this may wind up being two videos. This will be the first half of my inventory, and I'll do the second half another day. Because still have a good bit left in this bag, and uh, tired. Tired of talking, and I don't think y'all really want a two hour video. That's kind of ridiculous. So let's try to speed run through the rest of this. Okay, here's another one of the bats that I already had. Foggy's Place bat. So that's three total. I'm pretty sure that's all for those. Snorlax. Not my favorite. I designed him myself. Um, he's going to wind up being clearanced. I've got him at 65 right now, so I'll write him down as that with an asterisk. He's going to be clearanced. So I'm going to toss him in the back for the clearance bin. I'm going to have to try again on that pattern. I'm just not super happy with how he turned out. So 65, but starred. Um, oh, here's the other love bug. And that one we've already got listed on here somewhere. Love bug, where are you? I know you're on my list. Love bug, there we go. And I know there's only two of those, so that's the end of that. Oh, here's the rest of the spider verse. Three more. Big Spoo the Spiders. Whoop. Come back, Spoo. Go in the pile. Okay, Jumbo Spoo Spider. One, two, three. That brings us up to four total. I think that's it for them. Uh, Loaf Cats. I have several of them in multiple bags. They're 35 each. Here's one. This is the Annie Caraway Loaf Cat that everybody's been doing lately. So that's one. Two uh, and three. I think that's all that's in this bag. The rest are in another bag somewhere. So loaf cat. One, two, three. Thirty-five. Here's the other two Tobies. My Highland Cow pattern that I just released recently. Oh, look at this guy hair. Poor guy, he can't see. So Toby the cow. Two more. They're in this pile somewhere. They're on this list somewhere. There he is, Toby the cow. So that's the three total Tobies that I know I have. This is the mini cow by... Who is this by? Stitching with Abby, I think. I think this is Stitching with Abby's mini cow. Um, blueberry sunflower version. These are 50 each. So I'm just going to call them standing cows, I guess, to differentiate them from Toby. Standing cow. One, two, 50. They take a lot of work, those cows do. Um, another maple chicken. You and I already have listed. Any more Mabels I can count out while I'm in here digging? No, okay, so I'm down to just two Mabel chickens, really? Ah, I did not realize that. Mabel, 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 where did you go? On my list. You're on this side somewhere. There you go, Mabel chicken. Okay, here's some more of the $12 bees, the sitting bees, so one, two, three, four, five, six more of those. I think that's all. Yeah, six more of those going in the $12 bin. I'm just making a giant mess over here. That's okay. I'm going to clean it up. I will clean it up. Okay. Sitting B, six more. So we're up to eight. 
That sounds about right. Naps to the Luke, which was requested by my daughter, and I pre-handed at a show. I think he turned out fantastic. I may write up a pattern for this guy. He's 30 right now. He'll go in the nerdy bag. As of yet, nobody has recognized him at all. He's a character from Undertale. <laughs> but that's okay. Somebody will recognize him at some point, and it'll be their favorite character, and they will be super happy to have found him. Okay, now it's the Luke. Another jelly bean bunny for the pile. Do I have any more of those? A keychain for that pile. And another Pokeball. So these are for the $12 bucket. So one more jelly bean, one more Pokeball. And a sheep for the $12. So jelly bean bunny, Pokeball, and sheep. Sheep is the only new one for $12. And then more to Jelly Bean Bunny, one more. Pokeballs. Pokeball, Pokeball. There we go. One more of those. I have more of those in another bag somewhere, but I'm not going to go digging for them right now. Oh, another dragon. This is one of the fruit dragons by um, Not Your Mama's Shop on Instagram. She has seven different fruit flavored dragons. This is Kiwi, Keisha the Kiwi, I think it's spelled. She's 25, so mini dragon, 25, into the fantasy bag, the nerd core bag. Mini dragon, 25. I have another one of them somewhere. But I guess it didn't make it to this bag. I don't know where it went. Mushroom. Little mini popping mushroom for 15. Fifteen. And then I've got more Halloween characters for fifteen. So I've got these are all the Poggies place little critters. Wolfman, the bride. Frankie, Pretty Pumpkin. So actually that's one, two, three, four. I'm just gonna call them the Little Critters Halloween. Since they're all the same price. One, two, three, four, 15. And a candy corn for 15. I'm going to cross out the little spider and add him to the little critter's Halloween because that's technically the pattern pack he came in too. Okay, so then the last thing in this bag is some stuff I've been making on my knitting machine lately and I'm not sure if I even have prices on it. I think I have general prices for this style of thing but I have like this is like a headband um, but it's wider so it's more like a almost like a beanie so it's sort of like the messy bun style like beanie situation. So I have a couple of that in a few various colors and they're like in this cinched up kind of style and then I have a thinner one in this super fuzzy feels like bliss yarn so this is more of the standard ear warmer very nice very nice very soft um, and then a doubled up beanie and this very lovely rainbow yarn. I have some more of this. I want to make another one of these in. Um, but I don't have prices for these. Well, like I have general prices for beanies and stuff in general. And I have baskets for these in, a, in one of these bags somewhere. So I'm just going to set them aside for now and deal with them later. <laughs> okay. And that empties out that bag. Okay. 
there's like more trash at the bottom. How does trash get in the bottom of my bag? Well, y'all, this has been an adventure. This is going to be wind up being the farm bag. So I'm going to go ahead and load up all the farm things in it. And I'm going to stop this video here and um, take a break because I need a break. And I'll probably finish doing this inventory today, but I will record a separate video and release them as two different videos. So if you see me in the second video still wearing the same clothes, that's why. But I do need a break. I've been talking too much. I need some water. I need to sit down. I need to, I don't know, read a book or something. So <laughs> that'll be it for today. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>